Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and today I'm coming to you with a very long-awaited wardrobe clear-out. <laughs> I know, it's been uh, almost two years in the making. The last time that I posted a wardrobe clear-out, I promised at the end of the video that there would be a part two. It, it never happened. There's many reasons why it never happened. I'll give you a, a quick summary. Um, So what does the panini have to do with me clearing out my wardrobe? Well, last year, uh, back at the start of 2020, I hosted a charity fundraiser, uh, back when the bushfires in Australia were the biggest problem at the time, and I really thoroughly enjoyed that event. I got to meet so many of my subscribers. We sold, I think it was almost $20,000 worth of clothing from my videos that uh, I was then able to give to various charities to raise money for the victims of the bushfires, for the wildlife, all that. And I loved doing that. And back then, my plan was, I'm gonna do this regularly. I'm gonna do this like every six months or once a year or something. I will gather all of the things from my various videos, I'll keep them in storage, I'll do a big event, I can sell it, raise money for a different cause every year. Given the fact that we weren't allowed to gather in large groups or do anything in person, uh, I wasn't able to have another charity event. I have been waiting for the day that I can have another one, but that time is uh, nowhere near close. I've been accumulating clothes, and I've been storing them in boxes, waiting for the day that I can either host a market stall or hire another pavilion and host a big event. But I, I really don't know when we're going to be able to do that again, especially given the state of the state that I live in right now. Things aren't great here at the moment. So not wanting to accumulate too much more in my house, but also not wanting to just flat out donate it, wanting to be able to raise some money I've decided to partner up with Depop to bring you guys some clothes online that you can buy from my wardrobe. I'm then going to take all the money from the sales on Depop and then I'm going to donate that to one charity, maybe a few charities. I'm yet to decide because I want your input as well. It's going to be your money going toward purchasing the items. So in this initial video, which will be, look, I guess you could call this part two because it's the second part of... No, no, let's let's start again. Let's pretend that last wardrobe clear out wasn't meant to have a part two. Let's call this part one. And I promise you that there will be multiple parts. I'm not going to just not do it like I did last time. There's going to be multiple parts to this series. Uh, it's all divided up into different categories. So behind me back here, these are all my dresses. Uh, there will be a clearing out my dresses video. There's going to be clearing out my sweaters, clearing out my jeans, clearing out my skirts. They're all going to be different videos because if I tried to cram it all into one video, you'd be here for seven hours. But for this very first initial video introducing my Depop wardrobe clear out series, we're going to be looking at a couple of collections that I never had a chance to show you guys on camera. This is the Barbie X Forever 21 collection that launched... Uh... 2020 was it? 2019? I, I don't remember. Back when we were allowed to see our friends, I used to film a lot with my friend Tiasha and we used to do size comparison videos. So I purchased the Barbie Forever 21 collection in Tiasha's size and in my size so that we could make a video together. There were two complications. Complication one, it came from America and shipping from America to Australia can be slow at the best of times. From the day that I purchased these items, which was the moment that they launched on the website, to the day that it arrived at my door, it took seven weeks. I don't know why, but by the time the items arrived, not a single one was available on the Forever 21 website anymore. So I left the stuff, tags and all, I left it in a box and I thought, that's all right, when I do my next charity event, I'll just hang it all up. There's different sizes available here. I'll just sell it all for charity. And obviously I wasn't able to have my charity event. So I figured this is a perfect opportunity to list these things on Depop. I may keep one or two of them. I've 
never worn any of it, never tried any of it on. There's a couple of pieces that don't have the tags on them anymore because I had picked those out and thought, oh, I'll keep these and I've removed the tags off them, but I've, I've never worn them. They're all brand new. Most of them have the tags. So I'm gonna show you everything that's here. I'll tell you the sizes and everything and they'll be going up on Depop. And then in this box here, I've got something very interesting, but you have to hang around a little bit later to find out what's in here, but it's very interesting, I promise you. So, as I mentioned, I've partnered with Depop for today's video. If you don't know what Depop is, Depop is an app that you can download on your phone. You can also use it on the browser on your computer where you can list your secondhand items or brand new items. Some people sell things brand new, but most of the time people are selling secondhand clothing items online. If you use Depop correctly, it can be an excellent way to find one-off pieces, pieces that don't exist anymore, that brands stopped making. You can find vintage, luxury, anything that you can think to search, clothing, accessories, makeup, it's all on Depop. And the reason that I say use it correctly, Depop has rules and you should follow those rules. I'm gonna say this right now, at the beginning of the video, there's a reason that there is an option to pay for items within Depop. One of my first experiences with Depop was purchasing a pair of shoes and the seller said to me, oh, don't pay for it within Depop. This is my PayPal, pay me outside of Depop. And there were slight, complications. The Depop team were amazing when I contacted them. They didn't have to help because I was the numpty that trusted someone that wasn't entirely scrupulous. But the Depop team still did everything that they could to help me get my money back when I didn't receive my item. But there's a reason that Depop has payment options in place for you on the app. It's a secure way to pay. If anything goes wrong for some reason with the transaction, Depop can help you. The team can give you a full refund if there's any issues. But one of my biggest recommendations when you're buying on Depop is to check the reviews of the seller. Not everyone is going to have reviews yet. Maybe it's their first time opening an account. Maybe they don't have any reviews, but I always like to check the reviews of the seller. You can see their sold reviews and their purchased reviews. And it's a really easy way to get an idea of who you're working with, who you're dealing with. So check the reviews and go crazy. Search for anything that you can possibly think of. The amount of things that I've found on Depop that I thought I would never ever be able to find. So Depop's a great way to find limited edition, rare items. And it's also a sustainable option too. There's plenty of stores on Depop that actually take clothing and they rework it. They might sort of snip it up. They might use the fabric, make it a bigger size, make it smaller. Uh, Fu Wadi, I think that's how you say her username. She upcycles clothes, so she will take like a, uh, a hoodie, for example, and she'll convert it into a corset or something. She's amazing. There's iGirl. A lot of people know iGirl, internet girl. I remember when she first opened her Depop store, and now she's like one of the biggest Depop accounts. She finds really unique, rare, vintage, early 2000s clothes, sells them on Depop. She also makes her own line as well, sells it there too. But you can shop with confidence when you sort of combine relying on reviews and knowing that when you pay through Depop, the team at Depop is there to protect you just on the off chance that anything goes bad. But I promise you, nothing will go wrong here. I, pretty pastel please on Depop. That's me, it's actually me. When you buy something from my account, I am going to send it to you and it's going to be exactly the thing that you see me showing on screen. So that's enough talking. Thank you so much Depop for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited to, look, I'm excited for many reasons. I'm excited to get my spare bedroom back because my spare bedroom has been a place for me to house all the clothes that I was waiting to sell for charity. But also I'm excited to share some of this stuff with you guys because when this stuff arrived and I pulled it out of the box, I loved it so much and I was like, people are gonna love this! Or at least they would have if the collection wasn't sold out. But like I said, if you like the look of anything that you see here, you can find it on my Depop account. It's pretty pastel, please. So with that, oh, okay. let's start off with these two pieces. These are what I would consider baseball t-shirts, I think. Not being a sporty person myself, nor an American. And the reason I say American is because when I think of baseball, I think of America and Japan. I think that this is what people wear when they play baseball, right? Uh, I got this in a small, and then I also got it in a 0X UK 18. So that's the one that I got for Tiasha. I do remember when this stuff arrived, 
I was really, really surprised by the quality. It's actually so nice. Like everything is made so well. Sometimes when people think of Forever 21, they think it's, it's cheap or it's not going to be great quality. They put a lot of effort into this Barbie collection, I'll tell you that. This stuff is so nice. If I wasn't trying to raise money for charity and if I didn't own so much clothing, I would totally keep this because this is a, a loose, relaxed fit, really soft fabric. Also, can I just say, look at this. Every piece of clothing came with a little Barbie Cadillac tag, which is just so cool. The attention to detail with this collection, oh my God, so good. So I'm going to be listing this one in a size small. Oh, you guys are also probably wondering where Archie is. Uh, Archie has a tendency to do his business on my nice new clothing. And if I'm going to be selling this stuff online, I don't want it tarnished in any way at all by the bird. So Archie is not joining us today. So we've got this in a US small and also in a 0X. Next, we have... What do you call- what type of shirt is this? What do you call this? This style of t-shirt? It's a cropped t-shirt. Does it say here? No. Oh, there you go. There's a price. 20 US dollars. Okay, so this one was 20 US. I've got it in a 2X and I also got it in a small. The colour. The colour. The colour is everything. It's like a satin- not satin. I don't know. I don't really like this material that much. I will say that off the bat. Whoever buys this don't expect the softest, nicest material. It is, it says polyester, but I don't know, it just, it's a little bit sort of, it's got no stretch in it. Like uh, there's no stretch whatsoever. Normally when you see this sort of shiny, kind of satiny looking material, there's a little bit of give to it, but there's no stretch at all in this one. So just bear that in mind if you're thinking about buying it. It is, oh, it's so cute. I love it. Does that look okay? Doesn't matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter how I would style this. Matters how you would style this person that is going to purchase it. So I'm listing that in a 2X and a small. Next, what is this? I don't remember. Okay, this is a 2X. This is from the front, a plain white tee. Hey there, Depop, what's it like in New York City? And then on the back, we've got, I didn't come to play. And it's a very beautiful looking Barbie with the fiercest winged eyeliner I have ever seen. Now for a white t-shirt, it's quite sheer. Some white t-shirts, they aren't transparent. The fabric's thick enough that you can kind of wear whatever underneath it. But this one, it's really, really sheer. If I hold this up, I, I can actually see the camera right now. So a little bit thin on this one. It's also not as big as I would have thought for a size 2X. Like for me, wearing this as a 2X. Remember when I put this one on? This was a size small, but obviously this is meant to be like an oversized shirt, I suppose. But lengthwise and everything, they're kind of the same. It does surprise me that this is a 2X. Like if, if someone just handed me this and said, put this on, what size do you think it is? I would probably say, oh, I think it's like a small or a medium. Like it's just a long size small. So just bear that in. Bear that in mind. Also, I'm not wearing any face makeup. I've just got mascara on. Don't worry, I'm not gonna get foundation on anything, I promise. A US 2X. This says is a UK size 22. I don't shop at Forever 21 very often. Tell me in the comments down below how you find their sizing. Is it accurate? Cause I, yeah, I'm not so sure. Anyway, next. This one, I was very tempted to keep this. I actually, I took the tag off this. I haven't worn it yet, but I took the tag off because I, I really wanted to keep it. This is an adorable little baby tee with a lettuce trim edge around here and around the sleeves. It's got a Diamante Barbie on it. Oh, it's so cute. This is a size small. I'm gonna put it on. I've never worn it. I've never tried it on even. Oh, it's so cute. Arrgh. Okay, this is made of rayon, spandex, and elastic, and it's really, really soft. It's super stretchy too. And, oh, I don't want to sell this one. I really don't want to sell this. But I feel like a bad person keeping it to myself. Oh. You know what? Okay, don't hate me. But what I was thinking of doing, because this is for charity, if there's anything that I really, really, really like, that I really want to keep, I'm gonna list it with a big price on it, like way more than it's worth. And if someone is willing to pay that much for it, 
great because the money's going straight to charity, so that's nice. Uh, and also then I will be like, well, good on you, you can have it, I don't actually need it. But it, it, if it doesn't sell, I will be equally happy because I really like it. <laughs> this is so nice. See, the reason that I like this so much is because when I've had baby t-shirts in the past, look, right here, as part of my, oh my god, oh, oh, whoa, 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 oh no, what have I done? As part of my wardrobe clear out, I've kind of categorized all of my clothing. Uh, these are my baby t-shirts. You know what I mean by baby tee, right? It's like a little tee. And a lot of these, they aren't stretchy. So they're very, I just, I don't like wearing them because they're small already as a cropped little t-shirt, but also they're so tight. Like they give you no stretch. It literally looks like you're trying to squeeze into a, a kid's shirt. This one that I'm wearing, this has so much stretch and so much give and it's so comfortable. And I, oh, you know what? If I keep this, I'm gonna wear it a lot. So yeah, like I said, what I think I might do is if there's any pieces that I particularly love that I don't wanna let go of, I'm gonna list them at a higher price to raise more money for charity. And then if someone's willing to pay that much money, good for you. But uh, anyway, something that I should mention actually is that when you finish watching this video, the stuff isn't going to be up on Depop yet because I want to go through everything, pick everything that's going up for sale. And then I'm gonna have a launch date and I'm going to launch the stuff on that date. So everyone that's sort of tuned into the series all the way along could maybe like write a little list. They can be like, oh, well from her dress video, I wanna buy that blue dress. And then from her sweater video, I wanna buy that sweater. And then that way, if one person buys like six things, I can just bundle them all together and send it in one parcel rather than having to, I would just feel so guilty if someone watched this and then they bought this and then they had to pay for postage and then like they watched the next video next week and they were like, oh, I want that too. And then they had to pay for postage again. It's just, no, don't want to do it that way. So just so that you're aware, the stuff isn't going to be up on Depop yet. There will be a launch date that I will announce probably in the very last video of the series. I will say, okay, the stuff is going live on Depop on this date. And then for anyone that's tuned in and you've got your little shopping list, everyone can jump on the site and pick all the stuff that they want. And then that way I can put, if you buy multiple things, I can just bundle them all together for you. So next we have these biker shorts. These are a 1X. This says that it was 18 US dollars. They've got a little tiny Barbie down the bottom here in rhinestones. They're actually very nice. They're a really thick material, kind of like a ribbed fabric. Let me see if I can find the fabric composition. How are you made? Oh, is it cotton or not? Or elastane, how are you made? Here we go. Oh, 97% cotton, 3% elastane. I'm getting good at this, guys. It's only taken me three years to be able to pick up a piece of fabric and identify what it might be made of. So these are cotton shorts. They're really heavy and they're very thick fabric too. These are really nice. Also, it's nice and subtle. If you like the idea of the Barbie collection, but you don't like the whole Barbie and rhinestones across the chest, you can have Barbie, just a little tiny one on the thigh, a little bit more subtle. So that's a size 1X UK size 20. These, we've got gingham biker shorts. I don't like this fabric, whatever this is. This is thin and not as nice. No, sorry, what? 95% cotton, 5% spandex. This is the same. It's the same as those other shorts, but it's so different. That's something that always confuses me. I, I do not understand how cotton can vary so much. This is so lovely, luxe and thick. And this one, it's just, you know what? Come to think of it, if you're wearing them for exercise, these would probably be better actually because they're much lighter. They're so much lighter. I feel like uh, you wouldn't get so hot and sweaty in these. These are really, really thick and maybe a bit too warm for exercising in. So there's that to consider. These are size 2X. Also, this doesn't say anything about Barbie. It doesn't actually have Barbie written on it. Why would I buy these if it's not from the Barbie collection? There's gotta be some reason that I bought these. <laughs> I just don't remember it. Anyway, these are a size 2X. Uh, it says UK size 22. All right, next. This is another one I took the tag off because I thought I would keep it. This is a size small, 
hot pink skirt that's got Barbie plastered all over it. I've never worn it, uh, and I, I don't think I will, to be honest. I feel like since I bought these items back whenever it was, last year, the year before, I don't remember, time means nothing anymore. I think that my sense of style has changed a lot since then. There was definitely a time when I really wanted to buy all of the super tight mini skirts and all of that. These days I am not so into wearing this type of thing. That's something that 2020 and 2021 taught me. How much I enjoy loungewear. <laughs> Things that are comfortable. The, what I'm wearing actually, because I'm sure people are going to ask what the tracksuit is I'm wearing, it's from House of Sunny and it's a, a beautiful piece of loungewear and I've been living in loungewear. So things that are a little bit more tight, I'm just not so interested in anymore. So this one is definitely going up for sale. It is cute actually. I quite like this outfit. This looks, this looks very cute. Someone is going to really like this skirt. It's very peach PRC. What's really nice about it is it's got a double layer. So here where it's got Barbie written on it is kind of like a, a thin mesh. And then underneath it's got the pink layer. So it's a little bit thicker. It's not quite so sheer. Can't really see the undies through it. This outfit that I'm wearing right now, the black Barbie shirt, the necklace with the little pink stone in it, and the pink skirt. You know what would make this better? A little pink handbag. If you guys know the brand Jacquemus? Jacquemus. Jacquemus. No idea. It's the brand that all the celebrities wear with the teeny tiny little bag that people pay like a year's worth of rent for. They copied it. It's pink and it's got Barbie down here in rhinestones. Uh, it's got the tiny little handle and then also on the inside we've got a full length strap. Uh, I don't know whether I would personally wear it with the strap. This is one that I was 100% going to keep. I took the tag off it, I had it sitting with all the rest of my handbags, and I do kind of want to keep it because it's so cute, but also not practical in any way at all. Can't fit anything in this bag. My phone, good, great. Actually, there is one mobile phone that would fit in this bag. I don't think you're ready for this. This is a Hello Kitty mobile phone. I got this on AliExpress. I was going to make a video about it, but then I thought, Alex, who's going to want to watch that? Are you seeing this? This is a fully functional Hello Kitty mobile phone. It even has a camera. <laughs> um, if you do want me to make that video, give me a thumbs up on this one. <laughs> Uh, if I get like, well, I, I always pick the number 20,000 when I ask for likes in the rare, rare off chance that I beg people to like my videos. <laughs> if I get 20,000 likes, I'll make a video about, I used a Hello Kitty smartphone for a week. It's not a smartphone. What am I talking about? I used a Hello Kitty flip phone for a week. I don't know if it even will turn on. I've never plugged it in. But that being said, this, this is the only mobile phone that will fit in this little tiny Barbie handbag. <laughs> I was planning on keeping this bag, but also part of me thinks, yeah, not very practical at all. Probably better off listing this one. This little bag may be one that I put a slightly higher price on to try and get a bit more money for charity. And uh, I might even sell the Hello Kitty phone too, after I make a video about it. If I make a video about it. If you give me a thumbs up on this video. There's only one thing left from this collection, which is a two piece, set. Now this is really pretty. It's lilac, which is my favourite colour. We've got rhinestones down here that say Barbie on the biker shorts and on the cami it's got Barbie written on the straps. It's so cute and this is the only thing from the collection that I've actually tried on because when it arrived and I saw it and I thought oh it's so beautiful I love it I have to wear it. The problem was that I put it on and I really didn't like it. I just didn't like it as much as I thought that I would. A few reasons, I think mostly because of how tight it is, but also maybe because of how loud it is. I couldn't picture myself actually wearing it out in public. When you wear both pieces together, it's, it's rather loud. So let me show you the pieces separately to begin with. These are the biker shorts. Like I said, they're tight, which is the whole purpose of biker shorts. But, you know, I got these really nice biker shorts in my latest White Fox video, and I've been living in them. And 
despite the fact that they're the same cut, same length, same style, same tightness, I feel a lot more comfortable in those than I feel in these. It might be because of the fabric, because this is kind of like a very shiny fabric and it's sort of showing everything. All right, so here it is as the two-piece set. Like I said, I am not a massive fan. I'm a massive fan of it on the rack and on the hanger. I think it's adorable. And I'm a huge fan of the small details, like the Diamante sparkly Barbie logo on the straps is so cool. But I personally don't like the way that this looks. So I think that this one is definitely going to be listed on the Depop account. That's everything from the Barbie collection. Let me jump back into my loungewear because now we are going to have a look at what's in the box. In the box, what's in the box today? Don't forget, if you want to buy any of these items that you just saw, you'll find them on my Depop store, Pretty Pastel Please. Head over and uh, follow the account so that way when the things do eventually go live, you'll know. And now, this is another one that by the time it arrived in Australia from overseas, the whole thing was sold out. If I look at this tag here, this shipping tag, 2018, 11, 29, 18. Australians are confused by the American date format. That's the 29th of November, 2018, that I bought this stuff. It's arrived to me in 2019. It, it, I bought it on the last day of November, took the whole month of December, it turned up in like January. Again, this stuff was sold out, so I never showed it, and I in fact never opened it, because I thought, that's alright, I will just uh, sell it for charity. <gasps> Does this give you any hints? Does anyone know, from looking at that, what this could be? Leave it in the comments below right now, what your guess is, or if you know what that is. Like I said, Buying this stuff in 2018, I have no memory of what I bought. None whatsoever. All I remember is I bought some things for Daniel, my boyfriend at the time. Not even my husband yet, my boyfriend. And I bought some stuff for myself and I think most of it is pink and black. That's all I remember. This is Suki by Felix and Marzia. You know PewDiePie, uh, the, the biggest YouTuber in the world? Yeah, him and his wife, they launched a sustainable clothing line. I think that this was before Marzia left YouTube, but I, I don't remember, it's been so long. Anything in here about the fabric? 80% cotton, 20% polyester, made in Canada. It says in bold, 100% made in Canada. I'm pretty sure from memory that these clothes are made in a sustainable way their workers are paid a fair wage and they're made in Canada with sustainable materials. This is so cute. I'm not selling this. I'm so sorry. I'm so terribly sorry to anyone that got their hopes up just then, but I don't, I do not want to sell this. This is adorable. Uh, you're probably thinking like, I can't believe you left that stuff in a box for that many years. It was a conscious decision. I kept saying to myself, I'm going to leave that there and one day I'm going to talk about it, I'm going to list it on Depop. I've literally had this in mind for years and I wanted to keep it almost like a time capsule. This is so cute and it's really, really soft. It's so nice. Oh, it's adorable. <gasps> wow. Also, even on the little drawstrings, they have little crescent moons on the drawstrings too. Oh, it's so cute. But I do have a lot of sweaters. I have so many sweaters. You know what? I'll put this It'll appear again in my sweater video when I do my clearing out of my hoodies and my sweaters We can have this debate then we'll bench this one for now next. Okay. This is long sleeve. Oh cute So in the front it says Suki on the back. We've got their I think that this is their thing like this little angry sun happy angry chubby sun that's on the back and then also it's got a little tiny bit of pink on the bottom of the sleeves this is a size large so i may have got that one for daniel i just remember that when it was all being modeled on the website by felix and marzia felix was wearing some of the items and they looked really really cute and i thought oh i'm gonna get that for dan this one is also a hundred percent cotton made in canada <gasps> oh so cool so cool! I love the sleeves. I really like that it's kind of this asymmetric 
line. Like, look how the line goes like this. It's it's really nice. I, it's a unique kind of added touch. It's not just sleeve ends here, pink. There's a little bit of extra attention to detail. I like this. It's cool. You know, it's, it's cute. Not my style. This one can definitely go up on Depop. I've also got... Oh, this is cute. This is just a simple pink t-shirt. It's got white detailing around the collar and then it's got the little uh, kanji for moon, this one, which is, uh, that, that is Tsuki for anyone that doesn't, I was about to say for anyone that doesn't speak Japanese. I don't speak Japanese either. I'm, I, I know some. <laughs> that is the symbol for moon and it's Tsuki, which is what they named their brand. 100% cotton made in Canada. Can I tell you guys a funny story about Felix, Marzia and Japan? My husband and I got engaged in Japan. He proposed to me at the top of Mount Misen on the island of Miyajima. His original plan was to take me to an onsen village and to propose to me at the top of Mount Hakone, which is a place that we've been wanting to go to for a very, very long time. The trip that Dan and I were on when we went to Japan, Felix and Marzia were there at exactly the same time. Three days before my husband proposed to me, Felix proposed to Marzia at the top of Mount Hakone. And Dan saw it on social media, I went because that was his plan. That was his idea. <laughs> so he had to change his strategy, which is fine by me because we have the cutest engagement story. I can tell you guys in a video some other time. But uh, anyway, for now, here's the t-shirt. It's cute, I don't need it. I have a million t-shirts. It's a really nice color, really nice shade of pink. Ooh, <gasps> oh, what? Oh, sweatpants. I got these for Dan. These are a size extra large, 80% cotton, 20% polyester made in Canada. So they've got a pink stripe down the side of them and they've got, how many people can relate to this? Something something no naka de something keru. It also says in a teeny tiny little English translation, I'm melting, I'm melting in fear. I'm melting in fear. Anyway, I got these for my husband. He's working at the moment. So this is uh, becoming a bad habit, but I'm going to bother him again. I've done it twice now. I can no longer say that I don't often bother my husband. I seem to bother him every time I film. Can you come upstairs for a sec? I'll leave these here for him to try. Oh, look, look, look. I got them in my size too. <laughs> okay, oh, this is exciting. <laughs> This is funny because I was saying about the Barbie skirt, how I didn't want it because it wasn't loungewear and it's not comfortable. Well, me from the past has me covered. <laughs> Look! Oh, they're so cute! I love them. They're so comfy. They're also too big. They're slightly too big. What size did I get these in? These are a medium. Why did I get them in a medium? I probably got them in a medium because I thought uh, it'll be more cozy if it's a medium, but they're a little bit too big. They're sitting too low. They're also quite short. I don't know if you can see that, but they they are not even covering my ankles. So I would be kind of cold. <gasps> Hang on a second. No, no, no. They don't have pockets. I'm not so sure if I want them. Let's see what else is in here. This is cute. Oh my god, I've forgotten about this. This is a windbreaker. So on the back, it says Tsuki. On the front, we have a big pink pocket that's got a little smiley face on it there. This is an enormous pocket. I guess you could put your laptop in there if you wanted to, or your iPad. This is a size small, so it's designed to be large. At the bottom of it, it looks like what should be elastic. But I can't find any like tie or anything to make it tighter, so I'm a little bit confused. I don't really understand why it's there. No, there's no way to make this elastic-y kind of section down here tighter. Anyway, uh, this one does have pockets, I think. Or not. Sorry, what? Don't tell me. No, it does not have pockets there. It's only got this pocket. Hmm. 
100% nylon made in China. This is the first thing that's not made in Canada. I don't think I want to keep this one. It's cute, but there's too many things about it that irk me. We don't have pockets here. There's no way to kind of tighten this down here, which is strange because it, it definitely looks like you should be able to. So I think I'm gonna sell this one. We've got a beret, Marzi's influence for sure. It's kind of like a creamy color and it's got a little pink dangly bit on the top. It's got a little pink nipple up there. I'm not gonna keep this. You guys know my gripe with berets. I just can never quite figure out how to wear them. So that one, we can sell that as well. There's socks. Oh, oh, they're cute. There's black socks and white socks and they look like they've got the little smiley face on them. There's some things in the bottom of the box here. There's some stickers. I might cut up these sheets and send one sticker in each parcel. And now you thought that was it. You thought wrong. There's more. This looks like, yep, it is indeed. It is the first hoodie, the same one. There you go. Now I don't have to decide whether or not I'm going to sell it. There's two of them. Okay, we've got a pink cap. The pink cap says Tsuki on the front. Very cute, but not for me. I don't really wear caps. So this one is definitely going up on the Depop. Something else pink. Is this? It is. It's the same t-shirt in a small. Oh, uh, maybe. I wonder if there's like a men's cut and a women's cut. Because if that's the case, it would make sense if I got a ladies cut and a... Ah, oh, yeah, look! They're different cuts. There's a, a men's cut and a ladies cut. I'll have to check. Like, I'll have to go back and find my invoice and read it because I don't want to be spilling misinformation. But that could be what the situation was. What is this? This is... Ooh! Interesting. We've got Tsuki written in kind of like a graffiti. And then we've got the saying something something no naka de something keru. Which as we learned from the pants, I'm melting in fear. <laughs> this one is also a size small. It's really cute how the, the Japanese is actually written in rainbow. That's adorable. I'm gonna sell this one for sure. I wouldn't wear this. I actually quite like it with the long sleeve yellow underneath. Pretty cute. This looks interesting. What are you? I see buttons. <gasps> Overalls! Oh, cute! This is so soft! What is this? What is this made of? It's delightful! 80% cotton, 20% polyester, 100% made in Canada. Oh, this is so cute. These are overalls. <gasps> and look, the straps have a moon on them. Oh my god, this is so cute! That's adorable! <gasps> oh, hang on, okay. I, I'm gonna try this on, but... I just want to see what else is in the parcel because I'm going to finish up by wearing this. Ah, okay. It's the same windbreaker jacket in a size small. So I'll just leave that wrapped in the plastic for whoever buys this one. All right, these are sickeningly cute. They've got little buttons on the side, which is how you get into them. The buttons have smiley faces on them. The straps are adjustable and they have pockets. Ah, oh, oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. Out of everything, having not opened this box for the past couple of years that I've had it, out of everything, this is what I regret the most, not having had in my possession, uh, not having been able to wear. I don't want to sell this. I'm really sorry. I'm really, really, really sorry. If anyone saw this and really, really liked it, I, oh, they're just so cute. They're so cute and they're so comfortable and Oh, I just, I love it. This is my favorite thing. This is, this is my favorite thing. It's really, really comfy. It's super stretchy. I can imagine doing all the housework in this. All the housework. All right, I've just taken my top off. So I'm going, hello. Hello. <laughs> Immaculate timing, Dan. Um, hang on, sorry. <laughs> I have something for you. Um, yes. Not related to what I'm doing. That was not an invitation. These are for you. Ta-da! Ah. <laughs> Finally, the pants ah. serve their true purpose. Dan, um, I bought these things. What year? Do you want to have a guess? Do you remember? Shit, there's no pockets. You would have bought these in June 2019. November 2018. Ah. Yeah, it's it's been a long time in the making. I, I got this so we could have a cute couple's outfit. Dan? The pants. Do you like them? 
They're comfy. They're comfy? I, I dislike the fact they don't have pockets. Do you want to keep them? They will serve a purpose, I guess. Because if you don't entirely love them, this video is actually a wardrobe clear out. Uh, these are all things I'm going to be selling on my Depop. Oh. Do you want to keep them or do you want me to sell them? I'll keep the pants. You'll keep the pants? I'm not so sold on this. That's, that's okay. Look, I wouldn't force you to wear a pink hoodie if well, you didn't want to. Who would want pants without pockets? We may as well just keep them. <laughs> And gardening in them. <laughs> Who would want them? Ah, I would better keep them. <laughs> well, I want them. Okay, well, that, that's it. Oh, also we're wearing the socks, by the way. Oh. Um, the socks, one sock has a smiley face and one sock has a sad face. Oh, they're so cute. Matchy, matchy. Okay, uh, I, I think, I think I'll keep, do you think I should keep this? Or should, like, I, I can sell one of them, but should I sell both or should I keep one? I would get rid of them. Okay. I, I would get rid of them. Okay. All right. I will sell the hoodie. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you for um, stopping work and coming up to wear pants. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. That's everything. So as I've mentioned, if you want to buy anything from today's video, it'll all be listed on my Depop, Pretty Pastel Please. It's not going to be listed yet. Uh, at the end of the wardrobe clear out series, that's when everything is going to go live. So. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, give me a thumbs up on this video, please. I would appreciate that. Turn on notifications so you know when I post the rest of the clear out videos. We've got dresses coming, I've got coats, that'll be an episode. It's, it's all happening folks. And it is actually happening, I swear. Hold me accountable. <laughs> Spam my Instagram and be like, don't forget to post part two and part three and part four. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!